Welcome back to the 2015 Reebok CrossFit Games. We have moved from the soccer stadium. For to earn the right to compete on the floor, you guys are going to do something special. You guys are going to do the first event we ever did at the Home Depot Center. Does anyone know what that event was? Amanda. Classic workout named after Amanda, who died of melanoma. She was a CrossFit athlete. Super awesome. I watched this event in 2010, not here, online. Amazing. We were just saying if we were super fresh, it would be cool. Feeling pretty tired? It's a bit scary. I love it. It's all back where it all started, which is great, which is what we are. We're the old guys, so we started a lot. It's great to bring it back to the roots. I like Amanda. It's been a spectacular way to go out, and uh, I have no idea how I'm going to go. Like muscle up has always been a thing for me, so I'm not going to take that juju onto the tennis stadium floor. I'm, I'm done with that, so I'm just going to be conservative on the muscle ups. No wraps, uh, no no wraps, and and unbroken snatch. Right? Boom. See what happens. Never know. You know, it's uh, it's a really interesting workout because I feel like they've done so much shoulder overhead as far as like cleaning jerks, and then they just did 50, 40 shoulder overhead at heavy weight, and now we're saying we're going to do squat snatch. It's all about stability, and their stability is gone. Um, there hasn't been much gymnastics. So, and then to say, okay, we're going to go 5 3 1 on the ring dips, I don't think it's enough ring dips in comparison to all the squats that they're going to do. A lot of barbell, a lot of barbell. So, it's going to be really interesting to see how they, how they handle the stability. I mean, unbelievable. If you think I've been doing CrossFit since 2009, and back then it was amazing to see regular people doing 65 95 squat snatches. So. I haven't tried them yet. I got a lot of warming up to do before I I give one a shot. I'm a master. I'm not one of these teens who can just jump up there and do them. I'd, I'd say it depends on how confident you are in them. Um, some people, once they go, they go, kind of like a handstand push-up. So you would never want to warm up to that point, but really pulls on the Terry's minor and on, it works your traps. So you wouldn't want to go into them cold. So you definitely want to do a few just to make sure they're there and that you're warmed up before you go into it. Having fun. Glad to be here. One more. One more. Ten minutes. We go party. Well, I'd like to get it because then I can retire. <laughs> Let me get third. I'll retire. We'll come back. Okay. <laughs> it's close right now to the end. <laughs> well, especially because they keep ramping up the, uh, the yeah. standards for every year. I mean, it gets harder yeah. and harder every year. You need to understand but that this 60-year-old lady can actually do the muscle-up part. <laughs> That's right. Darn. With more can. than just one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying you want muscle-ups in the 60-plus? Yes, bring it on. Why not? What if there's eight of ten women out there just looking for them? So what? Well, that's why that's why they don't give them to us because they're fearful that we don't have them. But how would they know? I mean, right. How are the regional they see who has them and who doesn't? But but how are they ever going to be pushed unless the standards right. are pushed? Yeah. Where did that take you? I don't know. I don't know. Find out. You just got to win one. Oh, I enjoy them. We practice them. You know, it's a 
weakness, so you got to work on your weaknesses. Did you know he didn't have muscle ups? I did not because he must have had them because we had him in the open. And if you made it here, you had him in the open, right? Brother, you came in this event tied. For yeah, course. yeah. There's a few things I have to work on, but that's the beauty of CrossFit. His muscle ups come hard for the big guys, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're hot for everybody, but you know, it's. What's your takeaway from this experience? Uh, I had a blast. I said, what am I doing? What do you want me to do? She's like, lock out. I'm like, I don't know how else you want me to lock out. I, my arms won't go anymore. That's all she said. She wouldn't tell me. She wouldn't say anything. But, but you won. Yeah. That's the good news. And the good news is I didn't have to do any snatches. <laughs> so that was the good news too. It's all good. Will Powell beat the rest of the field by three minutes. Hey, man, am I looking at a CrossFit Games champion again? Good, oh, maybe. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great, man. It's been a great year. It's been a good year of consistent training. Good year of nutrition. I, I, I couldn't have dreamt of anything better this year because, honestly, at the beginning of this year, I wasn't getting through one day of anything. A lot of sleeping, that's it. So, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's been a good competition, hey? Really good. Really strong right to the end. I can do that all day, but I just got to get back on those ring muscle-ups and bang them out. Anyway, that's a next year's project, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I love Amanda. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like one of my favorite workouts. Yeah, I was really confident. It's the most confident I've been all weekend. So. Believe it. I think so. Yeah. I was hoping. Yeah. I was here last year and finished seventh. Uh, this year, seventh to first. Yeah. The effort to get seventh place last year. Maybe a different kind of effort, a little more volume. Um, you know, that's how you treat volume. Yeah, and mindset. My mental game, I think, changed because last year it was my first year of the Masters, and I was kind of a little spooked, I think. And a couple of events came out where I didn't place very well. So this year I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna play CrossFit and have fun. And it worked. <laughs> You are. That was incredible. Do you feel good? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. This is a dream. I mean, I'm actually. Yeah. You qualified in the, the bottom spot? Yes. Yeah. What are you going to do now? Are you watching the bottom? I think by the time I woke up there, I'll probably collapsed. I uh, can't even think that far ahead. It was freaking a, it was a hard slog the whole weekend, but it was awesome. Oh, last year I, I did the Masters qualifier and I did for the, I was in the younger age group, but I'd only been training for six months in like a competitive aspect. So I was, I, can't, I think I came about 33rd or something in the 40 to 45 last year, but I had a lot to improve on. Seriously, if you ask my children, I am, they have had to sacrifice the fact that I'm, you know, my oldest daughter has cooked meals at home because I've had to train at night times. We've, you know, like they have been incredible. My three kids are just amazing. Since you uh, became a CrossFit Games champion, does that mean you're done, retired, go home and relax? Or no, no. Thing? I would, I am coming back. Dude, I dreamed about that moment right there. I dreamed about having muscle ups in the last the last walk. Last year muscle ups it was the last event and I capped out. I couldn't do the fourth muscle up. Came in dead last. Everybody in the all 19 guys were surrounding me trying to teach me how to do a muscle up. And really did start on the way home last year. I got on the plane and I just went through every workout. On the plane, my list is literally it's this long on all the stuff that I need to work on.
moral of the story here. If you uh, know what you have to do for work, if you put in the effort doing the work, that you can see the results. Yeah, is that... and this nutrition is a big part of it too. I met with a nutritionist uh, the day, or maybe the week I got back. Spent 800 bucks, never changed my whole diet. I quit drinking on December 31st and I like to have drinks. So it's just been, um, it, was, it, was, it was a commitment, that's all it was. So... You can't come in and just beat these guys. You know what I mean? You just can't come in off the street and beat these guys. They're too good. Coming in, you were tied with Bill Grumbler. What are your the thoughts? Final, yeah, yeah. Were you nervous? I was nervous all weekend, but um, we had a pretty good dog fight. And I think the day played out really nicely in the workouts so that I can do well. But um, my, my game plan for this weekend was to take risks. And with a, the plan was to either come first or come last. So to not have any sort of specific strategy and just to see what, see what was possible. Um, I've always been really conservative when I've competed, and I think that strategy worked really well this weekend because I found some things I didn't know I could do. Amazing weekend. I really honestly did have, I mean, I want to win, so I'm pissed that I lost, but I came here for one reason, and that was to hang out with my brothers across the games. So, if you wouldn't have qualified, I wouldn't have come. It's not to, it has nothing to do with whether they're good athletes, because obviously they're amazing athletes here. But, uh, you know, I came here to have an experience with my brother. And, I was one of the best three days ever. He wants that to compete next year. He doesn't want to compete so he, injured. And he says he'd be in your class next year. Does that mean? I never say never. I never say never. I know a lot of people have always wanted me to do that, and I appreciate that. That is your 45 to 49 um, Keep that applause coming for your 40 to 44 year old. Cool thing about the Masters is they're always here. So if I come back next year, awesome. If I don't, I'll come back another year, somewhere down the road, you never know. I had a blast, man. Hey, man, chill that, bro. You had me worried there for a second. I just stuck to my pace on that workout. I knew everyone was going to try and go some touch and goes, and I know that's not going to work for me at this point of the, the competition, because you were going to gas out, and I stuck to my plan and went for it. I missed one muscle up, which should have dropped off before that, but... It is what it is. It's a good way to go out for the week. It is. You know what? I've been trying to get a first place all week, all weekend, and I finally got on the last workout, and I I needed it. So I'm really excited. When you get into this big arena, and you got like the, the cameras, everything. And the track, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not Mickey Mouse, but it's not the stadium, the tennis stadium. So that adds that whole element of pressure where when you come out here, that's the biggest part. What do you have between the years? You can move weight, you can move your body, you can run, you can do all the stuff we're asked to do. But can you keep it clear between the years? And this test that. What's cool is that now there's a real crowd building. Now there's a real demand. You know, it's getting bigger, it's getting stronger. Now you got the kids. So now you got the future really stepping up and they're bringing their fans and family and so it's only gonna build from here and the show that he put out on the table that we were able to play the roles of this year, I think played out amazing. And we are going to continue to push the limit. Five years for this event for the individual athletes. And the three guys just did it in five minutes. And I know there were individuals who were in their 20s five years ago who couldn't have done this, did not do it in five minutes. And uh, that is something special. These are guys are performing as the fittest in the world did five years ago. And so the bar for everyone, the bar for our age group, I mean the, the normal individuals, and the bar for the uh, masters is just raising. Everyone's becoming fitter individuals. These are the fittest fucking humans alive. 2017, my boy, will be eligible for the CrossFit Games. He'll be 14. When that time comes, get out here, compete alongside my boy. I'll be in heaven. That's my real goal. So I take you, you're coming back. Woo, am I coming back? <laughs> I'm not stopping with two. <laughs>